there. I'm John Oliver, professional swear word sayer. Now, <laughs> on my show last week tonight, I tried to provide the fairest, most accurate commentary possible, whether I'm covering the state of America's deeply flawed prison system or the state of Kansas's sex toy auction. But look, sometimes I do go too far, and in the grand tradition of television personalities who've made mistakes, I would like to offer a condescending, half-hearted apology that I don't really mean. <laughs> now, you may remember, a while ago, I started a social media campaign to tackle what I thought, at the time, was a pressing issue. I'm speaking, of course, of my hashtag, not my Christian movement. <laughs> now, it, 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 was, it was designed to... No, no, no. It was designed to protest the casting of Jamie Dornan as Christian Grey in the upcoming... Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Now look, I'm sorry if anyone was offended by my incredibly accurate evaluation of the casting <laughs> choice for a movie whose target audience, going by the trailer, seems to be suburban mothers of three who have somehow never had sex before. My point, <laughs> my point was not, my point was not that the sex in the Fifty Shades trailer was as erotic as watching someone drop an unpeeled carrot into a paper bag. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a thing going into a different thing. Oh yeah. That was not my point. And my point was also not that Jamie Dornan, who I'm on record as saying is hashtag not my Christian, is, is particularly wrong for the part. My real complaint is Hollywood's unimaginative casting. When it came time to cast Christian Grey, a character described by Fifty Shades author E.L. James as the epitome of male beauty, they found an actor who specialises in handsome. And I guess what I'm, I'm driving at is, it, it hurts not to have even been asked. Because, <laughs> sure, 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 you pass me over for the epitome of male beauty, but whenever you need a Caucasian foreigner or a cheerful weakling, suddenly my phone's blowing up. <laughs> and that is why, right now, on YouTube, in front of all the world's teenagers and their fun aunts, I am going to record my audition for the Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, I'm going to record my audition for it. I'm recording my audition for a movie that's already been made based on a book I have never read. So here goes. Here goes. Let's do this. <clears throat> Hello. I'm Christian Grey. Epitome of male beauty. According to Wikipedia, I'm ready to take a young woman on a journey from frumpy nerd to fully realised sexual being. This is a thing that I, Christian Grey, feel totally comfortable talking about and doing. Maybe I'll tell her to let her hair down and stop wearing paint-stained overalls all the time, or, or maybe that's just the plot of 1990s teen comedy, She's All That. Either way, it doesn't matter. Either way, either way, I'm presuming this is all going to end in butt stuff. 